Are you home, quarantined, and your kids are out of school? Here's some good things you could be doing right now. Stay tuned. So, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And as I said in the intro, so you've got all these kids that are out of school because the schools are shut down and they're all home with you, the parents. And this is a perfect opportunity for you to uh, instill in them a lot of different things. Um, if you live in an area where uh, possibly you could be starting to plant your garden, uh, get your kids out there and teach them how to do it, how to plant the garden, how to mark in, you know, the rows and keep things together and space out the items. And if you live in an area where um, you're not quite there yet, it's still too cold, the ground isn't ready, uh, but you're starting your seeds and stuff inside, um, get the kids involved. Get them in there, show them, okay, we're going we're gonna to plant these in these little pods and everything else and water them and you know and you know just get them involved in what what is going on there's a ton of things that you could do um, <clears throat> instead of letting uh, your kids say sit in front of the TV and watch movies and uh, play video games and so on and so forth <clears throat> you could also teach them how to sew a button you know um, get out if you have most people have like little dicky sewing kits to you know to fix a button. Teach them how to sew a button. Um, if you're doing cooking, or if you're doing baking, get them in there. Show them how to read a recipe. Show them how to put the ingredients in. Show them how to uh, take and mix everything up so it's mixed well, so everything is you know all together. Um, if you're if you're cooking on a stove, you know explain to them you know why you're doing what you're doing. You know, put them in charge of doing it if they're old enough, say you're teenagers or whatever, you know, but some, you know, smaller kids would enjoy just helping you make cookies. When I was a kid, I used to help my mom make cookies all the time. You know, I didn't uh, mix the stuff and everything else, but I got to help, you know, spoon them out onto the cookie sheet and, you know, throw them in the oven. And then, you know, as a little kid, you'd stand there, you know, and you would be waiting for the timer to go off so you could have one of those hot cookies when they came out of the uh, oven. You know, teach them different things. Teach them how to wash dishes. Ta teach them how to, the proper way to wash dishes. Now, I've had kids and, you know, in the very beginning when they were first learning, you know, that was a whole, you know, basically they thought they could just rinse them off with a little water and they'd be clean. No, you have to use, you know, uh, so a sponge or wash, you know, some type of a cloth, you know, people will use different things to wash dishes. Um, teach them how to load a dishwasher. Most people nowadays have dishwashers, you know. Teach them how to load it. You know, there's a proper way to load it instead of just throwing everything in there, you know. Um, the biggest thing that I'm trying to get across is, is this is a perfect opportunity for the parents out there to take the initiative to um, get their kids involved and teach them good skills, good life skills that they can that they will use for the rest of their life. Um, you want to take and um, when you're doing laundry, show them how you put everything in the washer, how much soap you use, how much fabric softener, you know, how to take the things out and put them in a dryer, you know, and make sure you show them like, you know, you gotta clean the dryer vent. You have to, you know, put a dryer sheet in, you, you know, different things go on different temperatures. You know, teach them how to read the tag on their clothes that tells them how to wash their clothes. You know, some things don't go into, you know, the, the wash machine per se. Some of them stuff has to be washed by hand, you know, like certain sweaters and things and then they're not dried in a dryer. Teach them all that kind of stuff. You know, you have to lay it out. Um, I, 
if you iron, show them how you iron. You know, you get the ironing board out, what temperature you need to set it at for, you know, um, just get them involved into what is going on on a daily basis in your home. And this way here, when they get older, they're gonna remember that kind of stuff. You know, that is very important. You know, set them down. Um, show them the checkbook. Show them how it works, you know? Uh, especially your teenagers, you know? Especially if they're 16 and above and they're starting work and everything else, you know? You know, show them how they, you keep track of everything in your ledger, you know? You write, have to make sure you write in your deposits. You have to make sure you write in your checks or um, you know your debit information you know if you go to the ATM and take off 50 bucks you got to make sure you write that in there you know so you help you know them to learn how to control their money and to see how much money they have you know there's just a ton of things out there that um, us as parents can be doing with our kids you know um, if you're in an environment uh, where it is somewhat warm and uh, you need to, like here in Florida, you know, trim bushes, trim trees, um, cut the grass, you know, show them how to do these things, you know, so later on in life, they have an idea of what's going on instead of Googling, Googling it, you know, you know, they had hands-on experience to learn what to do and how to do it because either mom or dad you know showed me how to do this I remember this if you're painting you know um, I remember the first time I let my son paint well but that's how he had to learn you know you know you got to teach him teach him how show him how it's done you know how you have to tape off you know like your woodwork and everything else and let them do it. Yeah, they might get bored and, you know, bitch, moan and groan, but hey, you know, later on in life, they may thank you for it. I guess the whole key to this whole thing is, is it doesn't have to be um, like everybody's in prison. Um, you can make it so that it is somewhat fun, entertaining, and they're learning something. You know, um, I do know that, you know, a lot of schools have been talking about, you know, starting online schooling up towards the end of this month, beginning of the next month if the kids aren't back in school, <clears throat> which is fine and dandy. But be until then, you know, you have plenty of time to kind of like give them a, a lesson on life, you know, and teach them some of the things that they're going to need to know or they're going to have to figure out someday, you know. So I just wanted to bring a quick video to everybody out there and I hope everybody kind of like, you know, listens to it and, you know, don't make this so that, you know, if, if you're in a quarantined area or something that it's the end of the world and it's tragedy, keep the TV off and take your kids and start showing them how to do things. You know, that's how they're going to learn. And they're going to remember when they learn it from their parents, either your mother, your father, whoever, you know, either parent. So, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I want to thank everybody for everything that you do for my channel. I'd like to thank you for the likes and, and uh, subscribes. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.